Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. We are in a critical moment as for climate change. And such as coronavirus has shown, we can change the course. My job is trying to reverse climate change. I work with a very creative team that is dedicated to putting in place strategies and business models that are able to change practices and behavior of governments, businesses, and people around the world. There has been doubts that we can actually solve the problem of climate change and modify behavior of society. However, as we face the coronavirus pandemic and need to rebuild our economy, it has been shown that together we have the ability to solve climate change and implement solutions at the speed and scale that are required. Let me tell you a couple of things that I have learned from this corona crisis that gives me a lot of hopes and optimism to solve the climate change. First, I have been surprised by the response of society to this situation. Some months ago, it was unthinkable to me that a crisis like this one, people decided to stay at home or car manufacturers decide to start uh, producing respiratory ventilators or governments injecting trillions to bail out enterprises. Everyone is coming together to try to address the coronavirus situation. I have seen hope. Number two, I have been surprised about the resilience of nature. In a very short period of time, the nature is reclaiming the spaces that we have occupied. Now, with the lockdown, we have seen dolphins and fishes coming back to Venice, wild pigs in Barcelona. And the last week I saw a picture of a jumping whale in the town where I was born, Pulco, Mexico, where, which normally is full of tourists riding jet skis, parachutes, and banana boats, which means that if we fix climate change, nature will come back. But why this, this moment is so crucial for trying to address climate change at the same time that we are fighting with the coronavirus crisis? First, this is a unique moment in history where common interests are aligned. We have governments, companies, and individuals working together. Second, even when we have seen environmental benefits with the lockdown, I can assure you that it will not take too long to go backward to reestablish the CO2 emissions. I'm aware that people is concerned about losing jobs and companies are worried to pay salaries and generate cash flow. But including sustainability and climate change measures in the stimulus packages is not going to cost more to governments and it can be a longer term and sustainable solutions. For example, airlines are asking support to avoid bankruptcy. But if they want economic support, they should be requested to use biofuels in their operations. Car manufacturers are begging for economic support. But if they want these funds, government should request them to prioritize production of sustainable and electric vehicles. And by the other side, the small and medium-sized enterprises, which basically is the 99% of our, our enterprises, they require urgently access to capital. And governments such as Switzerland, Spain, and Italy are putting in place credit guarantees to facilitate access to finance. But part of these funds should be directed to renewables, to energy efficiency, or sustainable production, which will generate a longer term impact. Putting all this money alone to cover the short term expenses will put a big hurdle to these companies that will see increasing their debt in the short term as they have to pay back these funds. Yes, we need to take care of people now, but also for the long term and in solutions that offer more sustainable jobs increase productivity and offer a more sustainable products and services. The good news is that solution exists. We have the technologies and we just have to align the government, the private sector and individuals to work in the same direction. For example, putting the example of appliances and refrigerators and air conditioning systems, which consume a significant amount of electricity. Just all the air conditioning systems globally consume around 10% 10 of the world's electricity consumption. This is equivalent to all the electricity that Africa consumes. Unfortunately, the majority of the cooling systems that we purchase are the most inefficient appliances and contain refrigerant gases that are very damaging for climate. People normally prefer to purchase the cheap, inefficient cooling systems without knowing that they actually will be paying a big electricity bill in the next years 
that might be equivalent to 10 or 20 times more of what they actually pay for the equipment initially. One of the models that we are working at the moment is called servitization, or people know so that paper use model, which facilitates that people and enterprises prefer a high efficient cooling system, making them more affordable and competitive. The model is very similar to what Xerox, uh, the copier machine manufacturer, has been doing for many years. You don't have to pay for the copier machine, you don't have to buy it, you just pay for the number of copies at the end of the month. So for the cooling system means that rather than a provider selling you a cooling system, they sell a subscription for the use of the system. And the, use, uh, and the user just pay for the service that they need. The company that owns the high efficient system, they have a strong incentive to properly maintain the system and easily upgrade it. While the user has a strong incentive to have a reliable and efficient equipment. And they don't have to purchase the system. They pay less in energy and reduce significantly their CO2 emissions. Servitization is a model that actually can be used very good for other types of sustainable technologies, such as solar energy, electric cars, efficient appliances, electric buses, among others. The reason why these type of models work is because the three sectors, government, enterprises, and individuals, are aligned in the, in the, in the same interests and working together. Churchill, Churchill used to say, never let a good crisis go to waste. And this one is a good crisis. This is the right moment to fix climate change. And such as coronavirus has shown, we can change the course and have a well, as well, a green recovery. Thank you.